Part two, Mark's account was to the concern of ritual hand washing, not the Torah's dietary laws. In Mark 15, 18 through 20, Matthew addresses this. Matthew emphasized the topic of this to clear up any ambiguity so that his readers did not misunderstand Jesus to be saying something that he wasn't. Luke also makes use of Mark 7 in his account. That's Luke 11, 37 through 41. Like Mark 7 and Matthew 15, Jesus did violate the Pharisaic hand-washing tradition, but he didn't violate the Torah. Now let's look at Acts 10. This is another passage that sheds light on Jesus' teaching with regards to Mark 7. Remember, Peter received a vision in which he was told to kill and eat unclean animals. Peter was shocked by this instruction and refused. Why did he refuse? Because he didn't want to violate the Torah's dietary laws. What did he say in Acts 10, 14? He says, But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. This is significant because Peter witnessed the conflict recorded in Mark 7 between Jesus and the Pharisee. And he also heard Jesus's private explanation given in Mark 15, 15. So we know that Jesus didn't abolish the dietary laws because if he did, Peter's response in this passage wouldn't add up in Acts 10, 14. It's right here in Acts 10 where it teaches us that the dietary laws at that point were nullified suggesting that the writer of Acts, which the Bible says that it could be Luke, understood that Jesus to have abolished the Torah's dietary laws. In the Old Testament, God set the laws. In the New Testament, Jesus fulfilled the laws. Jesus never disobeyed his father. So that means that he followed the laws of the Torah. But with this very same argument, if Jesus fulfilled the law, does that mean that Jesus is no longer the Sabbath? If he is the Sabbath, then he fulfilled the law of the Sabbath. So if God once called something unclean in Old Testament, but now considers it clean, isn't God his own law? 1 Corinthians 10.23 says, All things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. 1 Corinthians 10.25 says, So you may eat any meat that is sold in the marketplace without raising questions of conscience, for the earth is the Lord's and everything in it. Part 3.